Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we pick up where we left off last week, which is we sanded this area, and now we're going to mix up some fairing, and we're going to cover it, and then prime it, and paint it. Let's get on with it. Oh, it's such a windy day today that it's hard to actually work outside but I do have to get this fairing done on just the side of the coach roof where I've just sanded that you've just seen um, I want it to look a little bit nice and then I'll prime it that'll probably only happen tomorrow though because man, this weather is uh, it's hard to tell on camera it doesn't come off very well But it's uh, super windy and everything's rattling about. Hard, hard to get outside jobs done. So some of you have seen this before. Um, for those who are new to my channel and haven't seen this before, this is a fairing compound called s -Fair. It's a two-part epoxy compound. You mix it together like you saw in the previous clip and you spread it on. Um, I tried to get as much on as possible a really good consistency to fill in all these little divots and flaky bits that I'd already sanded off. Uh, we'll then dry and I will sand it and apply the primer and then eventually the top coat. It just gives me a very nice surface to work with and gets rid of some of the imperfections. Strictly speaking it's not that important but you know I'm trying to do this and make the, the boat look semi good. It's never going to be perfect. This boat's far too old to have that kind of fresh uh, factory new look. I would probably have to haul out into a factory somewhere for over a year and do some serious work if I wanted it to look like it was brand new. Let's get on with it. Interguard is now more than touch dry. It's been about two hours. So I've mixed up the blue top coat, which is interthane in I think it's called ocean marine blue. And I'm going to now apply that to the side of the coach roof. And this I'll continue on uh, right around the coach roof so it will look great. I'm actually really loving the look of it and I can't wait to make it all the way around so that the front of the boat is done. Uh, thereafter, I will swing the boat around and come in on her stern and then we can work on the back of the boat. But that'll be next year's plans um, when I think the front of the boat is just about finished. So this is the final coat. It looks pretty good. A little bit of orange peeling, but it's not so bad. I did notice, however, where I blended it right here, it's got a weird look. It's quite strange. I'll have to sand and redo that later once it's dry. I got to do something the other day, so I'm going to do it now, and that is the test galley fridge. So we've obviously done that. I mean, the fridge is working. 
So, awesome. Let's have a quick check where we are. There's so much still to do. But I need to rethink all of this for next year. All right, back to work. The thing that we've done is the priming, sanding and painting of Zoe's cabin walls. That is done. Awesome. Also done is this. Finished sand and fair the port forward deck. And that we did the other day. So yes, one more thing to gone. was the frames on the outside removed now I'm going to remove this one and this one or maybe I'll wait a bit because suddenly it's looking like it might rain it's hard to tell well at any rate I could always put some tape over the windows uh, over the, the portals Right, well, let me, let me do it anyway. Let me just take it off and get it done. All right, hard to do with the camera in my hand. Let me make a plan. Clean up has been done. And I've built a little dam on both sides and I will probably now begin filling these holes with thickened epoxy. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. Is that the correct thing to do? No. The correct thing to do would be to cut this out completely. Get a new piece of external or marine ply with a veneer like this one has um, and fit it in here. Or even if it's just a section, go back until I get good wood, fill the area up, scarf new pieces on and that would be the proper correct way to do it. We're not going to do that. We're going to go and cheap out on it. And the reason we're going to cheap out on it is because I don't want to spend the money and the time to do that. I'd like to get this going. I can always do that at a later stage, make a note of it, prepare what I need to do to fix the problem properly. Um, that other side over there had a similar issue, uh, but it wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit. Now, bearing in mind, at least a centimeter aside, yeah, is what's going to get cut out. Um, and then once I've cut that out, I'll see, see it seems fine already on this side and very bad on this side. So I think once I've cut this part out um, on both ends, then we'll see how bad it really is. The top, 
unfortunately not much I can do there I think what I'll do up here yeah thickened epoxy lather it in and and hope it works if I if I bed the windows down the port lights properly they should last right hmm I think they'll they'll be fine surely I will not live to regret this decision do this in two layers I'll let this soak in because it seems to be soaking in really really nicely and I think what I'll do is I'll put these clamps on to deal with some of this there we go I don't need it to be too strong and the same on this side there we go just enough perfect then what I'll do is I'll let this dry take the clamps off uh, build it up again in another layer yeah I think, I think that'll do and uh, the weather is definitely turning and I don't think I'm going to do any more today the chances of rain are high so see you tomorrow okay it's been a day or two and I have finally removed this thing off camera and I chose not to record it all because nobody wants to see a grown man cry. Um, the veneer got pulled off, even though I went super slow, I went really slow and I pried it gently, gently with a screwdriver, but yeah, it just, it didn't play ball. Um, I tried to do some of the veneer back, I thought let me see if I can put it back in bits and then I can fare in between, but actually that was a waste of time. Um, what I'm going to do today is probably peel this off. Um, I may glass the sections, um, fill these wedges um, with thickened epoxy, and then that should be good. I have to continue cleaning that one up. Uh, see how far I get today. So it didn't quite work out, um, the weather beat me and I haven't been able to finish these two windows. If you have a look over there, this one has been done, it's dried and I need to wait for that to cure a little bit. I think there's still a little bit of flex on here. That one is dry but I need to fill those areas, I've scratched it all out. Um, taken all of the rotten wood out it would be best if I had a better solution for it but I don't have a better solution for it and I know the correct thing to do is cut that all out and put a new piece of wood in but I don't have the budget for that and I can't do that so I'll think about it for a bit and see if I can't find a better solution and 
yeah, something that's better. In the next hour or so, I'll start filling that with epoxy and see if I can get it done because I need to sand this, carry on with the priming and painting the rest of it today and tomorrow. For me, today and tomorrow. For you, it'll be next week. Thank you so much for joining and thank you to everybody who's liked and everyone who's subscribed so far to my channel. Um, see if you can get a couple of more people. I see the people who actually watch these videos are not subscribed, so please consider subscribing. Um, there's so much work that you still do on this boat and a lot of exciting things coming up for next year. So have a good week and I'll see everybody next week. Bye bye.